Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. We will go ahead and get started here. My name is Jeremy Crookshanks. I'm the product manager for H&L Filtration here at Schroeder. Also on the line is Wei Yu. He's our product specialist for H&L Filtration. Today we're doing the official product launch for the TNK product line, which is our complete rotomolded plastic tank solutions product line. Some of you guys might have already seen the catalog pages that have been floating around. So I guess the antithesis of this is, you know, why have we created this new product? Basically, we felt that there was a market need out there for tanks in these sizes, sort of in most of your mobile machinery that wasn't being met. Right now, if you want to do a rotomotive tank, you have to pay, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars up front for the tooling and then amortize that over a few years. And a lot of our small to medium sized OEMs really just don't have the quantity usage or the upfront capital to do something like that. So what we wanted to do is sort of make it a little more available for everyone. What we did was we created the TNK product line. We borrowed from the Hydac Germany TNK tanks that we had been trying to sell in the U.S. We did that with very limited success because obviously shipping them a full-size tank all the way from Germany, then plus the 16 to 20 week lead time just didn't make it conducive for what we're trying to do in the U.S. So we decided to make our own U.S. version with our own Schroeder filter and Schroeder branded accessories. We're currently working on three tank sizes. Right now we have the 12 and the 18 readily available. We also have a 25 gallon tank in the works. We went ahead and put that in the catalog. They're ideal for medium to small OEMs. It's also available with the GeoSeal patented element technology. We've had a lot of success selling the GeoSeal in these applications here in the last four or five months. Seems like as when it comes in as a package, we're showing them the whole revenue stream ROI calculation of the GeoSeal elements. They really don't seem to have as, as much of an objection. So another huge benefit to these tanks is that they're certified clean to a Stroder Industries cleanliness specification. That's one thing that we wanted to develop when we're doing this. We obviously have our own cleanliness specifications on our filtration, but we're going to supply these tanks, we want to know that we're doing better than what an OEM is doing themselves if they're building their own steel tank, you know, how hard it is to get a tank flushed and cleaned and everything like that. So we've written our own specifications around what we found in the last few years with the technical cleanliness push from the automotive world into mobile machinery. We've really put a lot of emphasis on the certified clean aspect of this thing. And big thing about these is they show up ready to go, fully assembled. It has all of the Schroeder stuff, Schroeder filter and accessories on there. So all you have to do is plug and play. You, know, you take the Schroeder tank out of the box, you put it on your machine, you plug up all your lines. There's no having to worry about the additional labor to install those components, however minuscule it might be, or the additional labor to flush the tank out or anything like that. So it really helps with your overall roll-off cleanliness of not having to, you know, to flush all of that out. Next up here, we'll just sort of walk you through the new catalog pages for everything. They should be available online. Like I said, we're trying to, we're kind of doing like a soft open on these things. And actually today we were even doing some changes on the tank strapping part numbers and the models that are offered for those tank straps. Basically, the, the issue that we ran into was this is a little confusing for everyone with a different model code builder. So we really only have about 10 different part numbers for these straps. So we just went ahead and put our SAP numbers on the sheet. That way there's no trying to figure out which model code you need to worry about with the straps. You just pick the SAP number that you need, throw that on a PO and send it in. So that's going to make that a lot more streamlined than the issues we were running into. So. We'll get into a little bit more about these tanks here. So, like I said before, it's completely ready to go unit. We have a patented insertion ring on top of the tanks. What we found was a lot of roto molders and stuff will just use these tiny little inserts that hold items onto a roto molded tank. Well, with a filter, you really need a complete sealing surface around that filter port. What we ended up doing was making a patented insertion ring that goes into the mold and it holds that filter in there. That way, when the tank starts to get hot and the plastic will want to deflect a little bit, that will keep the filter 100% tightened down against the top of the tank. And that way you don't get any leaks around the top of the filter. We also have that same ring for the breather. It's lightweight, it's cost efficient, no risk of corrosion. I'm sure all of you guys have seen, you know, steel tanks that have <laughs> some water content to the oil and everything. They start to scale off and everything like that. Well, you're just not going to have that issue with, with the rotomolded product. 
Right now, we offer it in uh, a couple of different materials. We offer it in cross-link high-density polyethylene, and also we offer it in nylon 6. The high-density polyethylene will go up to about 180F continuous operating temperature with spikes around 190 to 200. And then the nylon 6 is obviously for your hotter running system. That's something you really want to pay attention to when you're specking out these tanks is what the temperature of the system is. We're also working on a additional material that will give us up to about 250, but we're just doing the first couple of prototype tanks in that, and that will be more than the HDPE, but it'll be considerably less than the Nylon 6. So we're trying to find a you know happy medium for those customers that may need a additional temperature option. Like I said, the tanks come completely outfitted with all your typical reservoir components. They come with suction strainer, breather, return filter, sight gauge, all of the goodies. Currently, another thing you need to look at is the UV light rating. Right now, HDPE is a UV rating of 12 years, so we feel that that's sufficient for about any mobile machine, you know, 12 years out in direct sunlight. If it's going to be more than a 12-year application, for example, the Nylon 6 is only a UV 4, which is UV 4 years. So if they're going to go, if they think their machine is going to go over those ratings, what we suggest they do is a, a simple paint job on the outside of the tank to give it some added UV resistance. There are, you know, a few paints that we can recommend that stick to the, the Plastics very well. Typical with our catalog pages, here's our dimensional drawing for the TNK12. As you can see here, there's a few extra ports for case drains and that kind of thing. Also comes with a drain plug on the bottom. Um, like I said, also on the line is Wei Yu. Wei. Thank you. So along with that, there are other customizations in terms of location for other components, such as the side level gauge. That can be placed on several locations on the tank as well. You benefit in applications that has more restrictive requirements. Next, we're going to talk about the model code selections. As you can see, compared to the previous version of TNK, we provide much more extensive selection in terms of customization. Not only can you select three different sizes of the tanks, you can also fully customize the return filter that's attached to the tank. Previously, whatever the manufacturer have decided to provide with the tank, that's what you were provided with. But now you can modify options such as porting, element micron rating, and indicator options for the filter housing alone. So to be clear, the ZT and the GZT that comes with the TNK, all three sizes, comes with all the same options as the standalone filter itself. On the tank itself, you can choose to select the PAB as breather that will be including on every tank. You can choose to have a side level gauge, what we call a SLG, which is a 5-inch version of a side level gauge that we are thinking about including uh, temperature probes as well. You can also select the location of the side glass. It can either be on the, the bottom left corner or the upper right. There is also an option for suction strainer if your application doesn't already provide one and you need one to be integrated into the tank. So just like the previous TNKs, these TNKs also come equipped with the straps if the application requires them. And based on customer demand, we have eliminated the non rubber coated version. It seems that everyone who wants to use the plastic tanks would want to use a fanning straps that are coated with rubber. As such, we have simplified the selection by providing just the rubber coated version of the straps. And instead of using complicated model codes, you can just specify the type of orientation you want the straps to be in and order under the corresponding SAP numbers. That way we can eliminate any misunderstanding or confusions. Just as before, there are three major configuration options for the tanks. The first is a vertical overhead. This is ideal for applications that has the tank set on top of a moving vehicle or a platform. So the straps would go around the tank and be bolted, have both straps bolted on the bottom. That way the tank can be held on top of our surfaces. If the tank is mounted on the platform on the, on the side, then the bolt will be, one bolt will be on the bottom, one bolt will be on the side over at the top. And third is if there are no platforms supporting the tank, then we have the options to mount the tank on the side with the horizontal straps only. As you can see, there are no more confusing numbers with the straps. You just select the orientation of the straps and just use the SAP numbers. Okay, well, uh, thank you for your time. Hope this was helpful.